can see we have us a hanger. The limbs are like Velcro sometimes and the tree kind of just gets sucked in there. We're really close to the coast here so the limbs are super tough. That's part of the situation. Um, not the best of places to be but this is how you're going to deal with it. We're going to wedge this one into that one. Hopefully the whole mess goes up the hill in the slot. One thing I'm hoping for is the limbs in this one don't push it off enough that it goes in that one and hangs again as well. So, by God's grace, here we go.
you can see these limbs, even though they don't look very big, they're about three inch or so at the bowl. And they're pretty tough and it kept pushing this one off, pushing it off, even though I had it gun high, um, wedging, double stacked operation. So we're gonna try one other thing here and see what we get.
one was kind of hung. This one was kind of hung up in the first one. You can see we got enough shake that everything popped out. But as they say in the animal world, it's all fun and games until someone gets a cone. <laughs> and that was kind of a cone situation. Uh, we didn't cut that corner off, so it's just had a lot of weight going out over here. But anyway, we got it taken care of. We're getting close to the end of the day. Uh, just happened to be using a nice little Magnum Insano, the SS version 044. It's technically, I think this is a 440, but anyway. Um, yeah, kind of exciting there for a second. So anyway, taking care of a situation. Thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth.